Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be opening up a box of War of the Spark, Japanese. So I was walking around a uh, local game shop and I was looking at some of the cards that they have on display and noticed that they had some really cool cards looking like the uh, art cards. Found out that they're Japanese alt art cards that only come in the Japanese boxes. So on a whim, I decided to buy a box and uh, open it up and see what I can get. So I really don't know what I'm looking at as far as cards go. So you guys will probably know a lot better, so I'm more familiar with the uh, the actual cards in the, in the set. But I did browse through them, obviously, gonna be a little familiar with the uh, uh, more popular cards, but we'll take a look. Let's see what we can get out of this box here. recently been opening up a lot of packs especially double masters and stuff and uh like i said it kind of came across these and decided i'd uh eh, it wasn't too expensive for some potentially really good cards in these packs and decided that you know what let's go ahead and give it a shot and it'd be fun to open and see what i can get out of the way here so I can separate these and I'm mostly just going to be looking for the uh, primary cards oh, I think that's a cool one and skipping the rest of them in the back at least okay and those are the commons so I'm going to leave Let's see. Put the rares, all the uncommons together. Throw the rest of the commons inside. It's a foil. And foil Planeswalker. And I don't really know the names of these. That looks like a Jace, but it is uh, with a spell card. I can't remember the name of that one. Oh, that one looks nice. It kind of looks like an alt art based off the, um, the way it's designed, how the art comes across the text on the card. I don't know if that's an alt art, but in fact, that is a foil planeswalker. This hair is not really working out for me. These are really cool land cards. I've never seen these myself again. This is a new, completely new set to me, and I guess it came out, what, 2019? The end of 2019, so maybe not too long ago. Those designs are really nice. Yeah, Jace, Jace Planeswalker, regular. I don't think it looks like an alt art. That's cool, totally cool. If you guys have opened up any of these packs, you uh, tell me a little bit about your pulls, your experiences with opening them. Uh, I had read that it was like a pretty 50-50 chance to get a uh, alt art, uh, but it looks, from what I can tell, it's pretty hard to get a foil version of them. So if you guys have cracked any of these packs open, let me know how that went for you guys. I'm very curious to hear your stories. If you got a video of uh, yours, link it to me and I'll check it out too because I kind of enjoy watching uh, these and this is kind of what got me started on doing this myself. 
Ooh, that looks really nice. These are just beautiful cards. One of the things I've always loved about Magic, which is, was the art, even in the old school forms. You know, there's obviously a lot, uh, a lot more talent in the pool now that they use. But they, it's always been something that's been really cool about the Magic cards themselves. Let's keep, let's keep trying it this way and see how it goes. I just gotta get better at that pull all the way down. I usually open them very differently. That's really nice. Oh, that definitely looks like an old art. Very cool. Uh, I should probably, well, I'm just gonna, I'll separate them later. Since I don't really know what I'm looking at anyway. So it's all good. Uh, Nissa? Vivian. <laughs> I don't know, you guys tell me. Oh, that's really cool. I've always been a big fan of giant monsters across the, uh, the years that I've played Magic. Whether they were good cards or not, they're always my favorite. So, Ikoria, when Ikoria came out, I thought it was an awesome idea. I don't know if you guys liked Ikoria or not, but uh, the Godzilla cards were really awesome, of course. Huge Godzilla fan. But it doesn't seem like too many of the rest of the cards in that set have done too well. This is different. This is still a token, yeah? Hmm. Is that a token? Another one of the land cards. This will look amazing. Ooh, foil. Common. Looks great, though. Uh, what do I do with these? Put them back in the common slot. Ooh, that definitely looks like an alt art. I do not know which kind. Planeswalker this is. I believe, this is definitely not an alt card, but I believe this is one of the, um, well, it's a mythic, so it's definitely one of the better cards. And looks like we've got something here. Ooh. Uh, that looks amazing. I love the colors on this. I don't know what he does. I don't know if he's good, but he looks so awesome. See people tear them this way. I don't usually open this way. You can't already tell. Uh, I feel like there's always a chance of putting a little damage on the card. I know it's just thin foiling, but you know anything that pulls on the card or in that direction, I always feel like is not good. Ooh, Nico Bolas. This is a character I'm very familiar with. I'm not, I'm not too familiar with this card itself, but I guess I played from. I used to play back in the '90s when the game came out, so uh, you know, all the Elder Dragons were very, very, very. Different art forms back then. Uh, I actually still like them a lot, but yeah, that's amazing how far they've come with uh, what they do with these. That's awesome. Too bad it wasn't foil. Oh, that's cool. A lot like the worm coil engine. Which I thought was a really cool card. In the uh, big monsters theme. This is how I normally open them. I was trying to do it the other way because it seems like when I watch other videos, they do it that way and it's a lot faster. But I'm not, I'm just not very good at 
is a foil common. Yeah, that's a cool looking card. Very Medusa like with that hair. He goes here, rare slot. Uh, it looks like a land card in a rare slot. Oh, that's nice. Right, one third of the way through here. That's different. It looks pretty badass. There's an armored cat. You got a war cat over here. I haven't seen this one. Is that good? Is he doing, is he doing anything really good? Looks like crystalline giant. You got a war cat. That's funny. Shouldn't be too surprised since we've seen a lot more uh, cats in the newer parts. Well, I think mostly Aquaria and uh, Corsac 21. Well, another full common. So it looks good. Ooh, here we go. Cameo, right? Am I right? I think that one's one I've seen enough times to be familiar with. Could have been the could have been the foil foil. Let me just trade, switch it up. So close. Swamp lands. What's your favorite uh, land card? Mine's mine's usually swamp. Cool. Uh, Karn's Bastion, I think. I've seen enough of those. Yeah, that's a nice one. I don't know what he does. Ooh, that's very cool. The colors are awesome, it's good contrast. Card featuring uh, Nico Bolas. Ooh, look at that. Foil. A little, uh, little orange symbol there. Mythic foil. Nice. That's a beautiful card. I don't know what it does. <laughs> and uh, the rare, that's really nice too. Oh, I love the monster cards. Very cool. Oh, that's awesome too. Uh, that would look in foil. 
I have to pick one up just because it looks cool. Do you guys collect cards or do you guys play with your cards? I kind of just collect now. I don't really do much playing just because it's been a long time. I just got back into it collecting Godzilla. Uh, but all these cool cards coming out uh, have, has made me feel like I, I want to start playing, but I, I think I'm restricting myself. And, you know, supposedly there's not much playing going on, right? Right now, right? Because everything's uh, social distancing. That's cool. Another mythic. It's always good to have. Looks like a, a pharaoh. Some kind of a pharaoh. That's just so cool. Nice colors. Hey, I believe that's a uh, Chandra. I'm only familiar with that from Corset 21. Oh, that's nice. I also like the uh, any kind of demon cards. They always look really nice. My favorites from back in the uh, back in the day, Lord of the Pit. If you guys remember that card, if you guys know what it is, but there just simply weren't as many cards around back then as there are today. I don't even know probably 90% of what's out right now. That's cool. Hey, that's a cool one. Junior Hellboy. Is that Karn? Karn, is that you? Looks like you. All right. I don't know if he has an alt art card or not. I can't remember, but I don't think that's it. Oh, that's cool. That's an action card. I love those. The artwork. And got another one of these. It looks like Echo from Overwatch. I don't know if you guys know that game or not. here a lot of cards featuring my boy uh, Nico and if you guys saw this I just know this is the top of the last stack but there's a there's a cat card like an alternate last stack Planeswalker, rare. I don't know this guy though. No, 
that's cool. Look at that. I don't even know if this set was any good. Going by, judging by values, I'm not really sure. You guys tell me. Not all good cards, uh, being a good card doesn't necessarily mean there's value, it's worth something, but you know, that's the only thing I know how to go by when it, it's a set that I'm not familiar with. That's awesome. Oh, hey, it's. Hellboy Jr. Alt art for sure. Very anime like. It's definitely alt art. Sorry. They're fun to look at. Mm, that looks like an alt art. Uh, I don't remember the name of this one. Separate all the planeswalkers that would have been easier to identify some. That's a different one. Cool. Eh, not much there, but that's the rare. Crocodile, good looking card. Hey, Mythic, you know that does. Why can't the Mythic one be foil, hmm? Foil Mythic, foil Altar, that would be nice. Let's get one, huh? One maybe? Well, I got the foil Mythic, we got that. And how about, how about the Alt Art? Let's land one of those. You guys have any of these cards? You guys collecting any alt art cards? That's cool. Uh, I believe that's Ashiok. Hard to forget that name, that card. Stay together. Ooh, foil uncommon land. Let's put that one there. And that kind of looks like an old tartan. Pack guys, thanks for uh, hanging in there. I know it's uh, longer than I want it to be for a video because I'm slow at opening these packs or slow at going through the cards. Bear with me, I'm new guys. Ooh, foil land. That's cool. Put that there. Hey. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's great. Ooh, well, that guy. Uh, this is the this must be the alt art version of the card I pulled earlier that was uh from this one uh, black 
It definitely looks cool. I might even like the original one better. I'm not sure. How about you guys? Uh, speechless. I was not expecting that. Of course, it's missing one thing. You guys know what it's missing. It would have been lovely, but to, just to get this card at all was uh, highly unexpected. Uh, it's a pretty hard to get mythic, from what I can tell. Wow, I'm uh, I'm extremely happy just to pull this card, and not just to pull this card, but it's the alt art. God, look at that. This, honestly, this whole, the whole whim that I had on, on buying these uh, may have been based off of the the fact that all the alt arts just look so cool. And I mean, I'm an, I'm an anime fan and an art fan anyway, but it was really this card. This card is just, it, I don't know, it just sets up itself apart from a lot of the other ones. And I can see why it's so popular as an alt art card. But wow. Wow. Oh my God. That made uh, this whole box worth it. I mean, it was as as far as I'm concerned, it was pretty worth it already. I liked a lot of the cards that I that I pulled, uh, but that uh, of course is a single card that most people want to get out of it. Definitely for me, it was. And I, I really didn't expect it at all, but wow, I'm I'm ecstatic about that one. Just look at it again over there. Ooh, that's a cool card. I don't, I, we haven't got that one yet. It's a mythic. Awesome. What a box. What a box. You've been great to me, box. Thank you, box. That's awesome. I haven't gotten that one yet. It's another cool looking card. Looking like a, like a Padme over there. Last pack, guys. Last pack, what's gonna be? How are we gonna close this out? It's gonna be something awesome, or since I think we got awesome out of the way already, we can't really expect too much out of this pack, right? Well, at least it's a different token. I uh, don't know if I've seen this land, but maybe I haven't been paying attention. Okay, uh, some kind of explosion. I think this is actually a good card uh, from from what I gather of watching other uh, videos of people opening up these uh, cards. Uh, they usually mention this one. Looking card. Hey, there's that puppy. Yeah, this must be the uh, normal version of the uh, the Altart card that I pulled earlier. Earlier. And those are the last ones. I don't think that's a bad pack for the last one. I don't know. Once again, you guys tell me what you guys think because you guys are probably a lot more familiar with these than I am. Oh man, it's already kind of a long video, but we'll. It's already long. Anyway, let's go through. We gotta look at that. Uh, one more time. One, let's count the mythic here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, seven. Now oh, that's uh, uh, that's that's a lot. That's a lot of mythic and a lot of good ones. Uh, probably some of the best ones uh, out of the set. I think not as many of the uh, other alt art cards, but I mean, you really can't. You really can't. I got no right to complain. No right at all. It's the one card that I wanted. Uh, of course, I want to collect the other ones too because they're just simply beautiful. But I mean, come on, guys.
Thank you for watching my video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, sorry it was such a long video. Um, I would edit short, but I don't know what I can do except for maybe cut out all the uh, pack openings just to reduce it maybe a couple of minutes. But uh, uh, thanks again, guys.